Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatic After a Pressurise for Minecraft 115. Today our list is advanced PCBs again with advanced configuration. I should have done this before really. I'd also like to have a look at the redstone module and the logistics module, a sentry turret and some armour upgrades. I'm going to do the basically night vision upgrade for this particular for the helmet. So let's get started. So I'd like to start with the um, night vision arm, the night vision upgrade. Basically, very straightforward. We need two of these, and we need the rest I've already got. But this was the um, the hard one, I suppose. Night vision, potion of night vision for eight minutes. Recipe for that is redstone on top of night vision for three minutes, which is a gold carrot. Basically, very straightforward. On top of awkward potion, so that's uh, as you can see, three steps. So then we get to that. So we've got three buckets, three yeah, three bottles of night potion. So I should be able to simply craft this in. The other one was the pressurized, the pressure chamber glass. Um, and that's it. So we've got that. We can then simply put this straight into our helmet. It's very handy as it's up as night vision. I do like night vision, especially when I'm exploring. So let's put that into there. Oh, and put the helmet back on, of course. I'm going to move these upgrade matrixes back away so I don't need those anymore. So, next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to make some redstone modules. I've actually got some. They're very straightforward. They're basically just um, redstone repeaters. I should have some redstone repeaters in here. I've got 18. I'll take out some of these and I'll take out two redstone torches to, so we can do those. Um, and it just needs that and some pressure tubes, I think. That's basically all we need so let's just do the recipe for this one I'm not sure I've got enough to be honest oh redstone's what I need not redstone torches so let's take two I th yeah we'll make two of these I think we need two to be dead honest with you so let's do the recipe for the redstone module is this one and the other thing I'd like to do is that first of all, really, I'd like to do is the advanced PCB, advanced configuration. So this is really actually one of the very, it's quite a powerful feature. So let's get on and do this first of all. So with the redstone modules, I'm going to replace this stuff here. But with the redstone um, repeater. Um, the advanced with the advanced PCB, I'm going to put this onto here like this. And if when you when you do this, well, first of all, before we do that, let's just have a quick look at one thing. So at the moment, this is turned off, and it's turned off because, um, in fact, I'd like to make sure it's turned off, but it doesn't make it's fine. We'll just we'll live with it. So if I remove this, it's turned off because of this here. So if I remove this redstone dust here like this pick it up you'll notice that the pressure on here is two bar so that's the threshold pressure that we want you see then it goes on we don't want it on at the moment because actually it causes like for one thing and it's also we don't need to use it and these this bit here we can simplify enormously so let's do which one shall we do first we'll do this one first here like this so I need two bars so I'm going to remove this redstone from here because we don't need it that got picked up by the smart chest um, this one I think so it picked up some redstone dust so what I'm going to do is apply this onto here like this and then I'm going to have a look at this so we look at the configuration for this so we want the advanced configuration now it's got two modes well what I wanted to do is I wanted to give me two bar when it's got no redstone signal so basically red no redstone signals at the bottom here and as you see what i want is a lower butt pressure i want it to be two like that and then on the upper side when it's got a redstone signal actually i actually want it to be zero like that so when this is on it's got a redstone signal which it has at the moment it's got a redstone signal of 15 here this should be giving a threshold of zero which is perfect and then when this is removed this should then give a pressure of two like that as you can see 
So that's what I wanted to do. So now I've got a threshold of two, which is going to give this enough bar to go up. In fact, as it happens, we can actually reduce the pressure down here. We don't need to use two. We could use a um, 1.8 bar. And that will give a reasonably good temperature for when this is actually running. So now that's removed all of this redstone. And we're going to clear up this bit of redstone too. So notice that this doesn't run while I'm messing around. Let's just put down a lever down here like this and then turn it on so this is always off we've got to remember to remove that so now we can remove this all of this redstone here we can remove including this lever uh the torch and this block we don't need any of it because i've got pickaxe with me like this so all we're left with is this comparator now there is a there is a mode which you will have a look at as well um for the redstone module now the redstone module all it has to do is it has to be attached to some pressure tubes like this so we'll just put some pressure tubes down that's going to reach from here so we can basically go up to this thing here like this and then go around here doesn't they don't need any pressure by the way and that's important so all we need to do now is to put onto these the um redstone modules like this and we want one here so it's receiving the redstone signal from this comparator we want it one on here get it in the right place so this is then emitting redstone now at the moment this is an emitting mode and you have to change the, the receiving mode here you see when it's out that's emitting and when it's in then it's receiving i suppose that makes a lot of sense doesn't it really so at the moment it's receiving none because this this thing is not doing anything at the moment now this has a mode. It has oops, try again. Don't want to do that. It has lots of modes, but at the moment it's pass through, and it can only do pass through. But we can also invert the output like this. Um, I'm going to quickly go and get an advanced PCB, and I'm going to apply the advanced PCB here, so we can see the other modes that we've got for the redstone module. I'll be back in a second. So if we apply an advanced, P an advanced PCB to here, we can then right click this. And instead of just having pass through, we can have a lot more options. One of these was comparator. Now this isn't a comparator in the same way as this one. This is a redstone comparator. This is a comparator of redstone signals. So it doesn't read the output of this refinery controller. So you can't you basically put it in here and hope it works. In fact, it only works in the emitter mode anyway. So if I change this to being receiver mode and have a look at it, you'll see you don't have any options. All you can do is to color the channel with one of the 16 My Minecraft colors that you have. And that's it. So you'll see that it's actually a very powerful device, but we don't need this on there. So I need to remove the um, reds. If I can do it, actually, I have to shift. Probably remove a bit. Yes, I did. So I get the piece, advanced PCB back. I don't need to, to use that on here. And we'll put back another redstone module. And then we just invert it. Like that. So now this is high when this is not processing. And this has actually then got a threshold of zero. So let's remove this. And it stays at a threshold of zero bar. So nothing happens until we put a bucket of oil in there. So now let's go and get a bucket of oil. I don't have any on, uh, with me at the base at the moment, but maybe we can find some in the Amadron tablet. Optimistically, it says. So, a bucket of oil. Let's have a look here. We can search. And indeed, we have one. It's not a very good trade if you do the other way around. Five buckets for one emerald. But one emerald will give us one bucket. I'm uh, just going to get an emerald. I haven't got any with me. Actually, I've got some around here, I think. They should be in the plants. So I should be able to take some out of here. So we need nine. So I get nine. Yes, I did. That will be enough to make one emerald. Oh, actually, with the... Looks like the drawers are a bit full at the moment, so I'll have to put some upgrades on those. So we just type the uses of this. We'll make one emerald like this for effect. So now we can put this into here, but first of all, I would like a tank. We've got plenty of chests, I don't have any tanks for me. Um, we need a tank because we need to be able to put... Oh, some XP lying around here. 
it was night time before so there we are uh, and we need to trade it so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put into here the emerald but I can't place the ord yet because I haven't got a tank so just quickly go and get a tank from inside and we're back in a second so here we have a tank and what we have to do with this so we have to shift right click this tank with the Amazon tablet and you'll see you get the cyan one so this is now we can then place the order so let's look again for oil and sure enough we can place one we can get one out of these and place order I've never actually you know it's my first time of actually ordering um, some oil so along comes the orange one takes away the emerald it did take away the emerald pretty sure of that we'll double check it empty hand probably the best yes we got one piece of clay in there and it should come back in a second and drop one bucket of oil as you see one bucket of oil in that click on it now one bucket so let's take a bucket and um, I've got a bucket of water here. I need an empty bucket let's just get rid of this bucket of water put it there and then take the bucket out of here like this and then put this straight into the refinery controller like this and then this redstone signal should go off this will then get a 1.8 bar and it should start to process you see that's now gone off this has now got 1.8 bar threshold and the temperature is increasing so it takes a few oops try again it takes a few seconds for this to actually warm up to remember not to do with that as you see but it's 100 degrees is the required temperature and any second now it's going to start processing this as you see and it's going to be drawing oil out of here like this I'm going to let that carry on processing and when it's finished we should have some this should be empty and this should be back on again and this bar as you can see on the one probe is saying 1.8 will be zero again so now while I was doing this I wanted to also replace all of this redstone around here with some more redstone modules so and I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this to work it's actually not that straightforward but the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the compressors like that I probably should turn this off actually while thinking about it but I don't have to turn it off there I can actually turn it off here and then open up this again so that will then connect again to here this these are actually all connected around and to here so that's losing that pressure from there it's actually a, it's a good trick to remember to do this actually if you want to connect something up quite often you just apply it a block to one of the ends but it doesn't have to be the end where you want to connect to you can be anywhere like here or here and you can do this so here we've got these redstone repeaters let's just pick up those like that and you see they disappeared into this chest as the, the smart chest taking the redstone away and it also took the uh, liquid compressor and logistics frame but can I put these two logistics frames together? Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. If you can't, then they're different. If they're identical, then you can. Anyway, so what I want to do now is I would like to put down some more tubing here. And again, this is not going to be pressured. So we want to start here. We want to go around. This is where the, the tank, um, the compressors will be. Uh, and then we can go around here like this and here. And then we can put the compressors back again. But before we do that, I'm going to put on them, they'll link in. This is the problem. If you put a compressor down here now, it's going to link into this pipe. So, for example, let's put down a redstone module here. Like that. This one wants to be receiving at the moment, it's emitting because it's receiving from this um, uh, pressure tube gauge. So, we turn it like that. So, it's receiving from there. So, but if I put down the compressor now into this space it's going to connect and that's what makes life a little bit difficult in fact I want it to be this way around as it happens and I want it to be on there you'll see it's connecting in here now the trouble is when it's connecting in here you cannot put the redstone um, tube module on uh, module onto it so you can put it upward you can put it on this end face like this but you can't put it on here so you have to remove this thing until it's ready in fact it's actually working and it actually powered up this tube so what we do is we have to put these down first but these do not need any power at all so uh, any any pressure at all so it's fine that it loses the pressure from there but let's put this down again and this time it should work 
So we put it down here. And we put the other one down here. And then I'm just going to remove, I think we can, yes, we can remove everything from in here. At the moment it tells us it's got two buckets of kerosene. And then we can configure this. So we'll configure these two here with two buckets of ker kerosene each. So we just come along here, we want kerosene, that's LPG, kerosene, a lubricant. It's a blue one, isn't it? Yeah. Like that. And then we want to right click it for two buckets. And then we're going to set the minimum order size like this. And we're going to say 100, because that's is plenty. It runs for quite a long time on 100. Press tab to get out of that. And then we're going to set the face. Now the way we do that is actually the easiest way is just stand on it and put it down on here like this. As you can see, it's got the blue ring and this drone started to work. <laughs> and the reason the drone started to work is I figured out what the problem was before. So like this. So these are cooking up and nicely. And you'll see the pressure's going up here, 3.89 bar, which is, and this pressure in here is doesn't change, it's zero. And then as soon as this turns on when it reaches, what was the pressure it has to reach, 4.9 bar, it will stop. It will emit a redstone signal. By now, of course, this one has gone, has processed all the oil in here, as you can see. This has come on, and then this is zero, exactly what we want. Perfect. And this one should take a few more seconds and come on itself. So that's the pressure up to now. Let's have a look. Can't see from that, it's just a drone. <laughs> 4.17 bar. We'll just leave this for a few seconds, and while I'm doing that, I need to make the next thing. Actually, it's coming up to night time, so it's a handy thing for it to do. Oh, actually, I just noticed something else working. That surprised me because I thought these had already finished. So let's go and do that. Make the sentry turret. Now the sentry turrets are actually really good. I don't like the minigun as a handheld weapon. It's just I find it too unwieldy. But as a as a sentry in a sentry turret is great. Even a fully a fully upgraded one, I still find it a lot difficult to use. Let's put it in here. Take out all of the upgrades in here, and there are a lot of them. I I don't plan to use it. I'm just, I'll stick to my bow for everything. I think because it's. I like my bow. <laughs> and it's trackers and then one more. Like this. And then I want to remove, I think I need to remove the pressure. I'm not 100% sure. Since we've built these already, uh, oh yes, I do need to take the ammo out, don't I? So we shift to shift right click it, and take out the ammunition that's in here. And then it should be, might be possible to use this. Let's anyway, let's find out. So for the sentry turret, what do we need for the sentry turret? We do actually need a minigun plus a base. And this is the sentry turret down here. So it's two pieces of plastic and three compressed iron ingots. So two pieces of plastic, I should have no problem, already got compressed iron ingots. Now it might not or try it, auto craft, because it's got pressure in it. Usually it's the case with these things. So we'll just have to see if it works by itself. If I don't, I might have to get rid of all the pressure, which might be a pain, but well, I think hopefully it'll work like this. I think this was the pattern, indeed it is. Now, sentry turrets do not need any pressure, but they do need range upgrades. Well, they don't, but it's amazing with range upgrades. I don't have any range upgrades at the moment. Well, let's go and set it up somewhere. I'm going to put it on a block like this polished granite because a little bit of height gives it a better a better range. The the only mob I found that actually does it doesn't work very well with these is the creeper. They can blow them up, but zombie pigmen, pigmen, um, zombies are great they will quite happily grind them no problem whatsoever let's put it down like this now it needs some ammunition in because it's got none at the moment so I'll put some ammunition and then it goes green as you can see it's, it's ready to fire 
and it's and it's got a filter now the filters are very powerful I'm just wondering if I can see the f target filters the manual has them definitely and the upgrades which are possible is are just range upgrades range upgrades are very straightforward let's go and make a range range upgrade and you can see what I'm talking about fact let's have a look at this I've forgotten which 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 chest has got the if it's a smart chest or the other one that's got the thing in it yes it's the it's the other one good I can use take the smart chest too like this and I can put this smart chest in it, around about here like this and then we should be able to think that's a smart chest with it with the upgrades in it indeed it is i don't need to dispense upgrade in here because i'm not going to push and it but it doesn't need some range upgrades so that will then pick up any mob drops that are near to that well maybe you don't want mod drop mod drops but uh, the range of that's pretty decent anyway so let's have a look at range upgrades again very straightforward I've got lots of bows in here as you can see um i'll just get rid of some of my inventory it's a bit looking a bit on the full side what can we get rid of i don't need this don't need this but we don't need this collector i'm not sure why that's in my inventory i don't need the redstone i don't really need the carrots but that'll do for now so in here i should have some arrows in here i should have some upgrade matrixes which are fantastic or lapis which doesn't really matter at all and then we'll get some bows out so at the moment i can just do i can basically fill up my inventory with bows so i want that one i'm going to use these broken ones they're, they're fine it doesn't matter if they're damaged at all so now if we go for the use of these you'll see it comes in here so we can shift click that into there and that doesn't only puts in one because the bows are only don't stack so if you just bring this around here like that we've got 14 of those we can do the same with the arrows like that we get 16 for some reason I got two extra and then we can just shift these out and put them in again like that and then you'll get your upgrades fairly quickly And the rest of those I'll just leave like that. And they'll be in my inventory as you'll as you'll remember. So let's go and put these range upgrades into here. Being night time, it's a very good time to demonstrate the, the sentry turret, of course. So shift click those into that. And any mobs, there's a spider over there, for instance. Um I think it just shot the spider. I think the spider went up, went down a little bit. Bring the spider nearer. And it'll just work like this. So there's a skeleton over there. I can see a skeleton just hidden behind that dirt. In fact, what we could do is to remove the dirt and get the skeleton coming into view for the yep there you go <laughs> shoots me let's get out of the way and let the... i think that was i think he got ground i'm not sure no he didn't look he's still there but i could bring this up a little bit higher and we can uh, just wait and see what we get in there nothing at the moment well before i finish this hunter turret there is one thing we should look at i get the book out here you see sneak to view so you sneak and you can right click it and you come straight to the entry of the sun sentry turret which is great now let's go back a page here oh yes this is the one that's important is entity filters now entity filters are the ones which allow you to determine what you want to attack so at the moment it's included at specifiers so there's a lot of them so for example at mob ag matches all aggressive creatures and then you can change the particular ones so you can match boats you can match sheep and i think what you can also do is match drones that's quite a good one and then you can specify multiple ones with this like that and bit loud I did actually increase some I did 
I did put some more range upgrades in this while I was waiting between for this time. But we could, I think there's also a way to specify whether you can exclude something. Let's have a look. I'm not sure whether you can, for example, exclude something with a minus. But they are case insensitive. Semicolon match is basically multiple matches. Um, no, I don't see anything in there to say that one. Back go back again. I'm sort of messing around with my indexes a bit here. Entity filters is what we want. And you can press F1. And you can specify over this animals, adults and babies, which is great. In fact, that's it. I can't see any more as it happens. Um, I was hoping to be able to save all mobs except for, for example, phantoms where I want to kill them and with my uh, uh, looting sword or whatever. So that was that. So now I think we're going to go, I should have in here some pressure tubes. I've got enough, I think, 64 plus 16. It's running, as you can see, running standby. It's actually not got quite enough air. Now, the way to solve the air problem is to use advanced tubes, pressure tubes like these. They actually take um, so the stronger version of the chest tube and can be camouflaged, yes. But they also absorb more air, so you need more air to, to get these running. But they are also have longer ranges. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the logistics module. I haven't done the logistics module so far, but what we're going to do is we're going to run the logistics module down through here and pass the um, pressure compressor here, the advanced compressor, and go and pick up the items from the f from the f um, essence farm. So the inferior essence here will be picked up out of this chest and be brought. It'll be actually from here, and I'll have to take it up from one of these plants. And all of this stuff will disappear out of here and be brought back to base and just leave the whatever it can't process which at the moment is seeds so i'm just going to set up quickly the um the tubing or the piping and i'll see you in a few seconds right we need some logistics modules logistics modules are these here very straightforward we just need two logistic cores with four redstone two pipes so it's not big deal we can make craft two of those no problem whatsoever so let's get those into place I've placed the pipes as you can see uh, in fact I'd like this drone to move out of the way and I can put this dirt down maybe I can put the dirt down here now already anyway good yes I can so uh, here I want to put one of these modules but I want to put it on the top here now again this is difficult because this is in the way same thing same solution as before just break it like that We've got the magnet on, we can then put these into place like this on the top, as you can see. And it has two little red dots just here, as you can, and that basically means it's not working because it's not got enough pressure. So then let's put the drawer controller back again and put onto this, of course, the logistics default storage frame. And you'll see this is in the right place. You see, this is actually moved, and we can camouflage this block. I'll do that later on. I don't need to do that now. So that's one end, and the other end is over here. So I drag the pipe, as you can see, I drag the pipe all the way down through here, like this, and it's coming up here, but it's actually right down. It's actually below the water. And here I've actually started to fill it in again. Let me just finish filling it in. Um, this was just one of the points, and this was the point that was taking me straight to here, like this. And I've got, um, I'm missing a few bits of pipe in there. We can soon fix that, I think. <laughs> I hope. If not, I have to um, break this piece. Yes. And then I can possibly go down here like this. I have to be a bit careful because it's water based. There we go. So we can then come out of this like that. And then we can put one up here so we can get the the module onto this. So there's no problem getting the module onto this as you can see it's straightforward and again we get the red pressure so first thing we need to do now is to connect it to the pressure chamber um, compressor here so let's just connect it in one more piece and it should just connect straight up like that and then this starts to get bar as you can see but the, but the pressure drops down 
And the reason the pressure is dropping down is because it, the pipes themselves take a reasonable amount of pressure. So we have to leave this for a few seconds for it to actually start to increase pressure again. So we'll leave that. While we're doing that, let's go and get the... I can fill this in as well, of course. But what I want to do is to go and get the... Um, the requester frame the provider frame so I need an active provider frame in order to to cope with this one and I think I've got one of those available if not we have to make one up yes I got the last one here you can't use a standard uh, provider frame you have to use an active provider frame because it's a storage module so all we need to do now is put this on and it doesn't matter which direction this is in so let's have a look at this now I've got dirt to take the dirt out you'll see we've got one stack of seeds and a few quite a few inferior essence another stack of seeds and 38 and 27 left over so let's just put the frame on like this it's still not got enough pressure because it tells you here it needs three bar so while that's doing that let's just put this on here like this I have to shift click it on of course that's the right one where's it gone to? Oh, I've got him out have I? <laughs> and I'll put it in the chest <laughs> try again right shift right click onto there and you'll see this has got the bar so this is facing I'm not sure which side to look it's facing west I don't need it to face um, this must be north mustn't it in fact, I don't need to have to face north because it doesn't matter with the rest of the modules, you can do it like this. So, this should have soon be building up pressure. Let's have a quick look at this. Now, I'm standing on that, it's not a good idea. Um, 4 bar, 4.9 bar, it still hasn't gone up to pressure yet. Let's have a look at these, let's have a look at these ones in here, they're probably easier to see. 2.5 bar in here. So we'll have to wait a few more seconds and when this gets up to three bar it's actually going up reasonably fast these corners should turn green i shall wait a second i'll see in a second when it's up there so any second now it should reach three bar and goes green and should start to take it on something else on my hand to do that and should start to take essence out of here as you can see there we go so it's taken the first load of essence out of it it hasn't taken any seeds out because there's no place for seeds to go uh <laughs> a zombie i'm just gonna close the gate i don't want them to get into there and i can run over here quickly <laughs> and let the drone sort him out like that so all i need to do now is to put some one seed into here for example and then it'll feed into here the rest of those seeds from there it'll also feed in from this chest anyway the drone will come along and take the stuff and you can see we've got 300 seeds already in here and they're probably becoming and you see it goes blue and when it goes blue that means it's actually doing a transfer so for long distances advanced pressure pipes and pressure tubes are much better so there we are so that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. We've covered quite a bit actually. We can see the sensory turret in the top right hand side, the advanced um, PCB on the on the on the regulator valve, and of course the redstone modules. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.